Hello, Vita. Wish you all a very good morning. I am your science teacher, S. Kiran. Welcome you all back to the another session of science online classes. Students, today in this session, we will discuss about animals, form, and function. The chapter Animals, form, and function. In previous session, we have discussed about plants, form, and function. We have discussed uh, known about uh, plants. Okay, how they reproduce, how the male and female gametes fills. Okay. So this all information we have collected in the previous chapter, but in this chapter now it's a time to know about animals. Okay. So see in this chapters animals form and function. In this chapter, first of all, what will be your learning objectives? What output will come after knowing this chapter, after studying this chapter? So let's focus on the board. But before proceeding, first of all, you must have to take out your text copy, textbook, notes copy, and get ready for the today's class. Let's see students. The first learning objectives are there. We will discuss in the chapter the organ system inside our body. Okay. What the organ system are present in our body? How, uh, how much organ system required to form our body? How much organ system required to function their bodies? A living things, a living organisms, animals, how they are functioning, how they are living. These all things we will collect information in these chapters. Okay. Second thing, the body movements in different animals such as earthworm, a snail, partridge, fish, worms, and the snakes. You know why the body movements? Body movements is a very major part of these chapters that we will know in a very clear way that uh, we will collect the information in a very clear way that uh, so that we will come to know what the difference between the different types of animals as well as the human range too. Okay? Let's see. Number third, the human skeletal system. Yes. Human skeletal system. Already I told you uh, that animals form and function. It means humans is also a social animal. Okay. In, uh, in social studies, we already have studied. You have studied maybe that human is not as a social animal. Okay. Human is also a category of animal. So, see human skeletal system. It means in this chapter we will know about the human skeletal system. How the humans. Uh, body uh, structure, how the human's body are looking uh, or functioning, they uh, we will collect all information regarding the humans. So, second, uh, next topic is that the type of joints and the role in body movement. So, now what the skeletal will form, so that forms have joint to many. Okay, so about joint and their movements, how they are functioning, how their movement is going on. So, these all information we will gather here, okay, in the chapters. And next topic is that the role of muscles in movement and what is the function of muscles in movement. Role of muscles, function of muscles is very important in the body movement. Okay, so things supposed to be. I have you seen the skeletal system? What is the skeletal, a skeletal system? A skeletal system is a completely framework, a body structure framework that is made up of bones and bones is made up of calcium. Okay. So, if we have seen in the lab or anywhere in any elsewhere in any videos or in any movies, because many movies uh, are surround us or around us that uh, soon uh, in different different apps. Okay. So, I think might have you have seen uh, that a skeletal system. What is a skeletal system? A skeletal system is internal. It means the basic a structure or basic unit required for the body formation. Without the skeletal system, without bones, a body formation is very complicated. Okay, and uh, let's see. As we know that an animals in the multicellular animals, as we all know that an animal or an animal is a multicellular. Do you know multicellular or unicellular? There are two types of animals or organisms found on the earth. Number first, unicellular, or number second, multicellular. What is unicellular? What is multicellular? Uni, uni means what? Unit. It means egg. An organism which is made up of single cell. That is known as unicellular organisms. But here we will discuss about the multicellular organism. Multicellular it means multifunctional. Multi means bahut sare. Many. And cellular. What is cellular? Cell means what do you mean cell? Cell is a basic and a structural unit of the uh, a body organs. Okay. So without cells, it cannot form tissue, without tissue cannot form organs, without organs cannot form organ system, without organ system a body cannot work. So we can say that a multicellular 
organisms it is made up of many cells already that now i have discussed it is made up of many cells multi it means many or several it means cell okay so it took together many cells and it forms a tissue and many tissues collected and forms a organs and organs completed a organ system and that organ system develops a body to work okay see it has a different organ system and each organ system see it has a different organ system and each organ system has a proper type of organs for their functioning because without organs organ system cannot develop and without organ system a body cannot function so let's see we will discuss about the organ system and also we will collect the information in which organ system what type of organs are consisting okay what type of organs are consisting and what the roles and functions of their inside our body so let's say students what is the organ system students so one more important thing is that completely uh, always keep in the mind that our body works with the help of all seven organ system it means how many organ systems inside the body there are seven organ system inside the body number first that is the digestive system what digestive system number second respiratory system number third nervous system number four circulatory system number five excretory system number six respiratory system and last muscular system so these all seven organ system made a body with the help of these organ system made and body forms and that's why a human and animals are surviving okay each organ system has a, a specific organs to function in for the body okay let's see a digestive system consisting of which organs number first mouth this food pipe here a stomach intestine liver pancreas okay mouth we can see uh, apart from it food pipe a stomach intestine intestine is the internal organs uh, liver pancreas these all are the internal organs and uh, through any diagrams you can understand i will try to make you understand with the help of diagrams let okay first uh, these uh, organ systems and what the major organs are given that has to be understand so that it not need to memorize memorization is not important understanding is very important okay so memorize avoid to memorize only try to understand if you understand way definitely i assure you that you not you will not need for the revision okay so see what type of organ systems are consisting with the digestive system mouth food pipe intestine pancreas liver mouth okay these five or six organs consisting the digestive system and that's why digestive systems are functioning and then after we are using to take food and exhale or out okay the waste see number b respiratory system what is respiration what is respiratory system respiratory system helps us to to take inhale the air okay inhale oxygen and exhale are you getting my points without taking air do you think that a living things can be uh, survive no it's not possible so which systems are functioning over there respiratory system just related to respiration and respiration is a process which an animals or a human beings used to take oxygen from the nature are you getting my words and that uh, that oxygen helps the humans or helps a, a living things to boost up the energy to boost up the rvc or wbc so that their body can function properly okay so uh, what type of uh, we can say that uh, organs are consisting in the respiratory system so 100% that so be used to respirate through nose be used to respirate through mouth after that that oxygen first of all as inhale through the mouth or nose that first which organs take absorb that lungs okay and then after lungs circulate in complete throughout the body see and the uh, build pipe also so respiratory system we can say that the nose mouth and uh, lungs build pipe these all organs are functioning together then after respiratory systems are functioning properly third uh, organ uh, third system is there nervous system what is nervous system do you know when nervous system nerve it is nerves system it means a collection of nerves nerves it means uh, wave a collection of uh, 
uh, nerves which is gather together working and then after the humans uh, uh, surviving humans are surviving or animals are surviving let's see what brain a spinal cord nerves brain a spinal cord or nerves these all organs are functioning in under the nervous system okay students next thing is that circulatory system what is circulatory system circulatory it means heart blood vessels heart or blood vessels what type of organs are there circulatory system circulatory system it means complete bloods are circulating throughout the body okay oxygen required energy required that energy is required by uh, getting from the food oxygen 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 so these things are just circulated by what heart or blood vessels next thing is that excretory system what is excretory system excretory system is very important for all living things okay it's a very important all living things in excretory system consist kidneys a skin or bladder in the uh, summer break uh, in during the summer we also feel that uh, from sweating what is sweating sweating is just coming from the uh, tiny pores from uh, a skin am i right tiny pores from the a skin so that is a skin is also a part of excretory system bladder or kidneys okay excretory system it is what we used to take food okay that Uh, that food helps to get energy, and that energy helps to work. Okay, that energy uh, due to that energy we uh, used to do work. Okay, but uh, what do you think that what the food we took? Okay, that all foods uh, uh, supported energy to the body. No, few food particles also waste. Few particles are waste. So that waste coming through the coming out through the excretory system say next one is the excretory system what is excretory system already it was told uh, earlier as i started the chapter that excretory system is nothing but it is a bony structure a framework on which that all muscular and many organ system supporting and that body a structure the body forms and those so that they are functioning see what is muscular system muscular system on uh, simple consisting the muscles it is the outer layer outer layer comes uh, just uh, behind of the a skin it means just behind of the skin the what are portions are covered to the bony structures that is the muscle due to the muscles of movement is uh, consisting and movements is going okay so the students i hope that you all well have understood about the involves form and functions you know about the what the learning objectives you know what is the importance of these chapters so in the next slide we will collect all the information we will collect a step by step information on these chapters okay students not next session next slide next slide it means during the same day you will get two or three more videos why this is the reason due to the reason it's very your in this third exam is near by that's why it's very important to complete and to do the hard work and i expect from everyone that you all people will do hard work i faith on you okay mujhe aap par vishwas hai ki aap complete karoge aur mujhe sach mein bhi aap logo par bahut vishwas hai aap bahut acche hain aur aap bahut laborious hai aap hard worker hai okay aur abhi jo main next video bhej dunga aapke aaj ke date mein aap usko bhi dekhiye theek hai aur usko samjhiye thank you beta